Hello viewers, welcome to another math class. Today, we want to solve the solve for x in this equation. Here, I'm having 4 to the power of 2 x plus 1 plus 16 equals 65. This dot sign in mathematics represents product, which is the same thing as multiplication, times 4 to the power of x. Here, I'm going to use quadratic approach, although this is just a typical algebraic question. Now, breaking this down here, 4 to the power of 2x plus 1, don't forget the rule of indices that says that what? a to the power of b plus c is the same thing as a to the power of b multiplied by a to the power of c. So here I'm having 4 to the power of 2x multiplied by 4 to the power of 1, the same base must be intact plus 16 equal 65 times 4 to the power of x. So now, let 4 to the power of x be equals to y. Then, plugging in 4 to the power of x equals y into this equation here, here I'm going to have y to the power of 2. Look at this. Here I'm having 4 to the power of 2x, which is the same thing as 4 to the power of x. Then this can be y, then this can be 2. So that's how I got my y squared times 4 plus 16 equal 65 times y. So here y to the power of 2 multiplied by 4 is going to give me y squared. Bringing this down here, I'm going to have negative 65y plus 16 equals 0. Looking at this, this is a quadratic equation. Then solving this further, I need two factors such that when the two factors is being multiplied together, it's going to give me the product of this. And when it is added together, I'm going to have this. The rule is this. Here, your y squared is having the coefficient of 4. Then multiply the coefficient of 4 with 16. Here, you're going to have 64. So what are the two factors of 64? Such that when it is being added together, I'm going to have negative 65. And when the same factors are being multiplied together, I'm going to have positive 64. Okay. Then I'm going to say 1 and 64. What about the sign? For you to have negative, it shows that what? Here yeah, you can you're going to have negative 1, negative 64. Now look at this. Negative 1, negative 64 is going to give us negative 65. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 64 is going to give us positive 64. Don't forget, this is 16. And 16, how I got my 64 was that I multiplied the coefficient of y squared, which is 4, by the constant, which is 16. This gives 64. Okay, good. So we are using these two factors, negative 1, negative 64. So using these two factors, here I'm going to have for y squared negative 64y negative 1y plus 16 equals to 0. So I'm replacing negative 65 by these two factors, negative 64 and negative 61. Here I'm going to have 4, which is common to both sides. I'm factorizing out y is common to these two. Then I'm going to be left with what? 1y. So multiplying these two, I'm going to get this. Negative 64 divided by 4 is going to give me 16. So now let's multiply out. 4y multiplied by y gives 4y squared. 4y multiplied by negative 16 gives negative 64y. Minus 1 is common to both sides. Here I'm having y negative 16 equals 0. Now multiplying out here to 
negative 1 multiplied by y gives negative 1y. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 16 gives positive 16. Now, looking at this, y minus 16, y minus 16 is common, right? Factor it out. Here, I'm left with 4y minus 1 equals 0. Let's go straight here. Yeah. I'm going to have y minus 16 equals 0. Or 4y minus 1 equals 0. So here, y equals 16. Or 4y equals 1. Dividing both sides by 4, y equals 1 over 4. Recall that we want to solve for x, and we've solved for y. Then what's the next thing for us to do? Coming back here, I have that let's fall to the power of x equals to y. So, 4 to the power of x equals to y. And we're interested in solving for x. So that shows that we're going to plug in the values of y into this equation for us to get the value of x corresponding value of x. So when y equals to 16, like we got here, we have 4 to the power of x equals to 16. That is 4 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of 2, which is equivalent to 16. Since the bases are the same, then my x equals 2. That is the first value for x. And in quadratic equation, you need to get the two values for the x. Alternatively, when y equals 1 over 4, okay, we have 4 to the power of x equals to 1 over 4. We're writing this in index form. Here, I'm going to have 4 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of negative 1. Since the bases are equal, then x equals negative 1. So looking at this, you can plug in these two values into this original equation. We're going to get that the two left-hand side and the right-hand sides are equal. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please don't forget to follow, click on the like button, and then share this video. Thank you. See you.